Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, I am going to talk about the differences between training and development. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. What is training? Training is a learning and upskilling process for new joinees in which they learn key skills needed for performing the job. It aims at improving job related efficiency and performance. We could also say that training means learning new things and refreshing the old ones. Training programs are generally designed for short term with a defined purpose like operation of machinery. Training needs depend upon the lack or deficiency in skills. Training needs are basically the skill gap between skills that a person has and the required skills. One can identify training skills need by taking into account what skills are required for future and what are those skills which are currently present in a person. Training lays emphasis on providing employees with specific skills or assisting them to overcome deficiencies in their performance. To sum up, training is helpful in correcting the skill deficit. Objectives of training Increasing employees' current performance Training helps the employees in leveling up their performances. Preventing industrial accidents with the help of training, workers learn to perform the right way of performing the task and how to handle machines, which decreases the chances of accidents. Next, preventing manpower obsolescence. Because of changes in technology and increase in competition, workers need to update themselves and learn new methods of performing the job. Increasing employee morale. When an employee is trained enough, his interest level in the job increases and he derives satisfaction from that job which boosts his morale for performing the job well. Reducing wastage It is quite obvious that a person who is untrained will waste more material and resources than a trained one. Through training, workers get to know the exact way of using the materials, machines and other resources. Less supervision A trained person needs less supervision than an untrained one. Talking about training process First of all, assessment of organizational objectives takes place. Next, you need to assess the training needs. After that, training objectives are established. Then the training programs are designed. After that, the training program is implemented and at the end, the training program is evaluated. Moving on to development. Development is a broader term that is for long term and general purpose. It is a comprehensive process wherein various methods of learning are provided to the employees for fulfilling individual needs while accomplishing organizational goals. Development implies the opportunities created for developing employees' skills necessary for future work activities. It depends on personal drive and ambition. It seeks to meet future needs and challenges and aims at overall personal effectiveness including job efficiencies. Further, development includes not only those activities that improve job performance but it also includes those activities that bring about growth in a person's personality. This will help in progressing towards maturity and realization of their potential capacities so that they not only improve their performance but also become a better human being. Hence, we could also say that development is all about providing employees those abilities which the firm needs in future. Talking about the objectives of development. Sustaining good performance. Sustaining good performance of managers over the course of their career while improving their existing performance. Next, encouraging managers for increasing their capacity to handle higher level responsibility, training and development of managers for meeting the technological and social change, ensuring a ready pool of qualified people at different levels for meeting the needs of the organization, preparing junior managers for future replacements, preventing managerial obsolescence by integrating new concepts. Moving on to the difference between training and development meaning training is the action of informing or instructing your employees on a certain task in order to help them improve their performance or knowledge as against development is a long-term educational process for improving the overall personality of the employee it provides philosophical conceptual and theoretical knowledge to the employees next orientation while training improves the knowledge or skills for a particular job or role Development focuses on career building and growth. Term. While training is short term with a concrete goal, 
it is for a fixed duration only but development is a continuous activity with open ended goals so it is for long term it takes place throughout the life of a person we could also say that while training is time bound development is lifelong further while training is the process of increasing knowledge and skills of employees for the present job development is all about increasing knowledge understanding and competencies to cope with future challenges hence training improves special skills concerning the job whereas development improves overall personality of an individual next focus while training focuses on role that is specific job or role requirement development focuses on the person that is it is more conceptual and focuses on the overall improvement of the individual next while training revolves around immediate or present needs of the job development is futuristic effect training enables the employee to undertake the task effectively development enables overall growth of the employee next directed at while training is directed at non managerial employees that is foremen or laborers this is because it is related to technical aspect of performing a function on the other hand development activities aims to improve abilities of manager and supervisors for understanding and effectively implementing theoretical and conceptual skills and various aspects of the job next concerned with while training programs are concerned with group needs where many individual participants participate in the organized group events like seminars workshops etc in contrast development activities are more personalized as they focus on individual needs and development plans next responsibility while the company takes the responsibility of employees training development is a self assessment process in which the employees are held responsible for creating as well as owning their development plans and activities we could also say that the management motivates the employees to undergo training on the contrary employees are self motivated they take initiative for joining the development programs so friends this is all for today i hope the difference between training and development is clear to you now however if you want to study the topic further in detail you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com here you can find a detailed comparison of training and development along with their definitions links are also provided in the description box below so guys i hope you like this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people Also if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel and if you have any queries or feedback for me feel free to leave in the comment section below until next time this is me surbhi signing off